what up YouTube Mandy hops here how are you doing you guys my hair is getting so long you never see it because it's always in a hat it's like long long but um today has been a really good day it was my first day back at work I tested COVID free <laughs> um the most exciting part of the day was um I hung out with Tunnel Guy's sister for those of you that are new to my channel like share subscribe Tunnel Guy was my ex-boyfriend of almost a year to this two-week mark. Um, so almost a year, uh, a homeless guy that lives in the tunnels. Yeah, that was a thing. Um, <laughs> it, rewind. Um, so I met Tunnel Guy at Dottie's off Boulder Highway when I was working there. And... Um, he seems so sweet and innocent. Okay, okay. And then, um, his birthday was Friday the 13th, which he was the second homeless boyfriend I had whose birthday was Friday the 13th. I know weird, and he hates the comparison, but I mean, the irony, kids. The irony, kids. So, <laughs> he was just a customer of mine that I could tell liked me and was like, seemed shy and was super sweet and like, um, I don't know, we always talked and he told me both his parents died at the same time and he had to go back to California. That was exactly this time last year. And I thought, oh my God, how sad. That's gotta be so hard. And then I didn't have any friends here and I thought, this kid needs a friend. I need a friend. I said, he had to take a Greyhound there and a Greyhound back. And um, I said, um, when you get back, can I take you to a Mexican dinner? Part of me really wanted to, to and <laughs> you guys, part of me is a really selfish fat girl. I just wanted somebody to go with me to a Mexican restaurant. I wasn't doing that shit by myself. And um, so we started talking and then like I had this gay friend, Mikey. They made fun of me because like, <laughs> they said I had all the homeless boyfriends. They got so mad at me because they said um, I kept all the homeless guys coming around because I would give them water and hang out with them. And <laughs> some of them didn't have IDs, and I would like kind of let them play the game for a minute, which was like really not good. But whatever, YOLO. <laughs> so I would get all shit for it, and um. Mikey is such a bitch, which is I love him. He's like, he's been on my live stream. And he goes, that little one's cuter than Paul, which is this one I really liked. But I knew he was like a super big thief. Like, so I couldn't fuck with it. Plus, he would just be crazy. Some like, <laughs> some, he was super cute to me, though. He kind of had a hook nose, but like, so did Fred. Don't know why. Because he got it broken probably like three times. But, um... <laughs> He goes, that one's pretty cute. And it just like laid this weird seed in my head. And I was like, mm. so I started talking to him more. And um, so we go out to eat. And I was like, I had zero intention. Like from the bottom of my heart, guys, I'm not bullshitting anyone. Ever hooking up with Fred. Fred later told me, oh, I knew we were going to fuck the first night. And uh, we did. It. That's not a normal thing for me. Um, And we were together like ever since. And our relationship went... Phew, phew, I was 10 months clean. I wound up getting 11 months dirty with him. We did everything to each other. Like, it got crazy. Like, it was just not healthy. His sister loved me right off the jump when she found out we were together. It's only because she loves him so much. Imagine having, like, a homeless brother in Vegas. And then all of a sudden with a good girl with a good job wearing a polo. Like, is like, hey. And, like, he's getting his teeth fixed. And... He's getting clean, so we thought for a second, and uh, everybody was, like, so happy, including us, Fred and I, Tunnel Guy and I, and he's like, I like her style, like, she's so awesome, you need to hang on to her, she's a keeper. No moms, no sisters ever like me. Again, I think it started out as, like, she was like, oh, like, like, he's not dating, like, whatever, you know, like, I'm gonna leave it at that, but... 
So me and her started talking. Now, most girls, I would say, like, start talking to people family, like, to, like, be, like, hateful or, like, bitter. But, like, we're not like that. We're not like that. Like, she would be like, I'm sorry you and my brother got in a fight. And be genuine. I'm like, you don't have to be sorry. Like, uh, it, it's not that kind of relationship. She wasn't friends with me to catch up on Fred and vice versa. Like, a lot of women do that. But, like, we just genuinely like each other. She's, like, a sweetheart. She's, like, super into makeup and, like... So she came into town, and today was the first day they ever met. They met yesterday, and I called everything, like, to the T. She's like, we went to a Mexican place. I was like, he got a burrito. She's like, yeah. Like, <laughs> so a lot of you guys hate Tunnel Guy for the things he put me through. And I concur that I am mad at myself and mad at him for what he put me through, and he should be mad at himself. That being said, I don't look at things like um, other people judge people, right? Like, am I a good girl? Yeah. Do I steal? No. Will I get loud and pop off on you? Like, I'm from Brooklyn or St. Louis? Hello, the fuck yeah, I will. Um, do Will I say some savage ass shit and mean it and not, like, and sleep good with the fan on? Yes. But I'm not going to steal from you, right? And, uh... Like, those I'm loyal to, I'm loyal to. Don't cross me. But I'm loyal to those. And, um, so, you know, given what has happened with me and Tunnel Guy, and a lot of you guys are super familiar, you've been with us through the whole thing, shout out. Um, could I have Tunnel Guy as my boyfriend again? Never. No. Do I love him and think about him all the time? Yeah. Like, titles don't change shit. Right? You could have a girlfriend, a wife all day. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't do anything to me. Please don't kill me. I got a fucking a girlfriend and a wife on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, titles mean nothing. Love means something. And, um, it's just weird because I kind of think of Freddy as like stained glass, right? Like, it's pretty looking up from the nice outside till you're on the inside looking out and then you're like, ugh. And you're like, where's the light? But everyone's like, see little bits of light get through stained glass like in a church right I know he's got that light inside him but he's stained glass I'm not a stained glass fixer he, he is a pit of <laughs> he is glass even though he's a pain in my ass <laughs> dad joke so no um so like what I mean by that is like I could you know when they talk about people that are possessed like every once in a while you see like moments of them and like you know they're good people He's possessed, but it's by not, by his demons, not a demon. Like, who knows? Like, like, but I can see those moments. I know that guy. I know he's in there. So, she had a Taco Bell coupon. Like, the one story she told me. And it, it was funny at the bar, but now it kind of chokes me up because... I know at the second he genuinely meant it. It was like a little like light in the stained glass, but um he said she said, Oh, here's her free taco from Taco Bell. Um you gotta buy something though. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, I could take Mandy on a date. She loves that place. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. But, like, I'm just saying, like, that's a moment where he genuinely meant that. And he said that. And he was genuinely thinking about me. And, like, homeless drug addicts don't have a lot to give. Okay? So when they want to give something, or they say stuff like that, it's just sweet. It just, it just, it just got to me. Plus, we had a lot of vodka. <laughs> don't get mad classy hoosier it was a reunion um no i'm good it just it was very touching to meet tunnel guy's sister i hope you have a safe way home and um i just can only think about what like she goes through you know, like, worrying about her brother being on the streets, and, you guys, other, the, I'm loyal, and I don't, but I'm no angel, 
<laughs> if you watch me, I've always ran with drug dealers, street kids, homeless people, homeless person introduced, homeless person introduced me to Las Vegas. Um, so it's like, and I can only think of what my family goes through, right? Like they probably think of me as stained glass because I pop off and I'm always on drugs and I'm out here with homeless people and everything's on camera and they're like, what the fuck? Probably. But every once in a while they see that little light. I think their vision may be more skewed because they don't necessarily take the time to invest in me, but because I'm not calling them up, asking them for shit or cause I didn't pump out kids and I don't need their help. And also the catch 22 is I'm not able to financially help them either right now. So hi kid <laughs> is what I get, you know? So, today was, like, very sweet. We hung out for three hours. It was super touching. And if Tunnel Guy takes anybody out for tacos, it better be this bitch. Because <laughs> I think he's in taco debt if we're going to play that game. I love you, Tunnel Guy. As you watch. As I'm sure you do now that you have a new phone via your sister. You should thank her for that. Thank you. For hanging out, Tunnel Guy sister. I love you both. And thank you guys for watching. And just remember, guys, like, not every view is the same, right? Like, I, uh... I was gonna try to leave at the deep moment, but I really don't know what to say, except for... I'm not just gonna say something. <laughs> Reading Rainbow, but you don't have to take my word for it. Um, no, just be honest with yourself and... I don't try to judge people on things that I wouldn't judge myself for, right? If I held everything against him that I held against myself, like I don't hold stuff against myself because I know I'm a good hearted person. Drugs change people, right? And I hope that one day he gets the help he needs. I just can provide that for him because it was hurting me. But I pray for him all the time. And, um, I love you guys. Have a good day.